I think she did really well on Girls Trip and maybe used some restraint. They like loved her and they know she's sort of a, you know, matchbox just waiting to be lit. And so I, you know, I tend to, I don't see Brandy as really a liar, but I think she probably tells too much of the truth and they don't really want that. You know, you work for, you've worked for big companies. They want, like you said, they want you to argue about a bow on a cake. They don't, you know, they probably wanted her to flirt with Carolyn and like make out a little bit. But then when it went too far because they'd given drink, you know what I'm saying? Like you never, I think it probably did go too far, whatever that means. And Brandy is feeling set up and I feel bad for Brandy because that is her livelihood. Yeah. Yes, yes. And yes, I agree with all of that. I do. And yeah, I do. And I feel that. Right. And I understand the argument, like, it doesn't matter how much you drink, you know, give someone to drink, you can't force someone to do these things. I, I, I get it. But yeah, I, I, it's one of the reasons we love Brandy is that she doesn't, she can't really embellish, right? Like they, Bravo wants you, they don't want to tell you how to play the game. They want to hire you and they want you to just get it from day one. Now, a lot of people do, Erica Jane, Dorinda, a lot of people come in and they got it. Then there, Dorinda did her own demise, but you know what I mean? Lisa Rinna was great until she wasn't. Like they want you to really just get it and just be a version of yourself, a caricature. That's They don't want real, real. They don't want Robin Dixon where it all comes out and you've like been living a lie, but they don't want the real dark. I mean, the show is like, we really have a crossroads here, guys. I mean, this, all of these shows just exist off screen. All the Finstas in New Jersey and this one's doing, I mean, there's so much that happens off the fucking screen. It's just, I don't know. There's gotta be a new way to integrate it. You know, you know what I do want to say what is, I mean, speaking of that, you know, the cast of Beverly Hills, the new they're filming, they've gotten a directive, you know, keep it light, girls, keep it light. Let's bring the drama, but keep it light, girls. It's everyone, even like in interviews, Garcelle, and they're like, oh, no, it's it's interesting. Rena was wrong, but, you know, let's let's lighten it up, guys. So, I mean, is that going to work? I don't know, but we're filming. We're filming the new Beverly Hills and we have a lot of cameos that it's like Game of Thrones. We have Denise Richards, Kim Richards, T Melon Ball. Melon Ball is there filming a fucking scene as we speak and Camille Grammer. Now we're not bringing all these people back. I mean, to me, it's like, is this Game of Thrones? We're just gonna like throw the catnip, like throw the, throw the like ch chum in the water and see which shark circle and who rises to the top. Isn't it interesting to you how they're, you know, they they play it cool, like they're not worried about Rena going away, but boy, are they pulling out all the stops. I mean, when Denise Richards dropped that Instagram video of basically being back at Beverly Hills on the on the show, you know, and we know she filmed at Kim, at Kyle's house. I'm like, oh my God, this is so, you know, the playbook. They're, they're throwing, uh, yes, I think exactly what you said. They're going to chum the waters, see who stands out. Can we distract everybody enough to forget about Rena? Yeah. Yes. Don't you think? Uh, I yeah, think I it's, I think it's working. Like, first of all, and yeah, we'll get it's, into Anne-Marie Wiley, the one new name that, but I mean, look, uh, for all my criticism of Bravo, they do come up now. Legacy has failed epically, but they do come up just when you're, cause we spent that whole season being like, how is this going to work? And I was convinced they were getting rid of Sonia, Ebony and Leah. The only two people they were keeping were Ramona and Luann. And I will stand by that. I am convinced that's what was going to happen. And then they were like, how is that going to work? And it's not going to work. And then they come up with two Ronies. Just when you're like, how is this going to work? They, they got rid of Rinna. Well, we're going to have like three fucking new names. I mean, boring. Let me go to fucking sleep. Now we have like, for all my criticism of them, Bravo comes up with some things that really are like, wow, this could be great. Look, they brought in, I agree that video of Denise was like, first of all, I mean, Denise must be, look, Denise, they would have kept. She wanted the rumor $2 million. She's had time away. Rinna's gone. She's making a killing on OnlyFans. Well, I was but gonna say now she's making two million on OnlyFans. So so now that she realizes that's the cash cow. What's an extra four hundred thousand, like 
Just take it. All Beverly Hills does now is give her exposure for her to show her twat. And I love, she posted a picture of like, it was like a sexy, seductive photo. And she goes, I'm free. No lie, no jokes or something. Like, I don't know. She was doing something free on on OnlyFans to lure people in. And she was like, today I'm free. I'm like, you bitch, you are so good. I told you. Your OnlyFans, which is probably your daughter, like her OnlyFans social. I'm like, ladies. You are like bring it. Denise is Jean. It's Jean. I told you she's like, hey guys, like long weekend. You know where to find me. And it's like her with like the newspaper lounging and like no clothes on and like reader glasses. It's like, no, Denise is like, right. So Denise if someone's like slaying, it's awesome. And it's like, look, the woman that you hate is gone. So what is really now your problem? Like this, this horrible woman that you can't stand is gone, you're going to have a pretty okay time. You know, this is what I think about this, because then it gets into like, who is going to rise to the top? I think the Kim Richards, Kim is filming again already. And by the way, this these might just be cameos. He might not. But I think they all have it in them. I think Kim, it's so interesting because Kim is coming in to bear the cross of Kathy. I mean, Kim is not happy of what Kyle did to Kathy. That's, that's how Kim sees this. You did this to our sister you chose lips this woman with lips over your flesh and blood and you kind of did that with me 10 years ago so i got a real problem with you because your sister kathy is not happy she cries herself to sleep i mean whatever it is kim is coming in to bear the cross of kathy helton so that alone and the sister dynamic to me makes it interesting and kim is already filming a second scene so kim could be a real person that they need in this whole thing second of all don't count out denise richards she was a bond girl she's an actress she's an actress if they say to her this is what you need to come in and do i think everyone is underestimating denise when they say oh she was boring for two seasons and you're underestimating denise fucking richards second of all about denise i mean Look at like Lydia McLaughlin from the OC. People go away and they get a second chance and they come back and it fails epically. They learn nothing. I think Denise is really smart. She's been on the streets of Hollywood since she was a young little child. And I think that she is like, okay, you did me so fucking dirty, but I got it. And she's got nothing to lose now. And she's like, she could redeem her reputation. I think Denise comes in guns blazing. Like, I think she gets how it works now, right? In the sense of like, you're not doing me dirty. Oh, I was boring. Y'all said this. Like, I think Denise is in on it. It is like, I just need one more redemption. Unlike Lydia McLaughlin from the OC. Hi, Lydia. I know you're on my show and you're very, very sweet, but it didn't work out the second time either. I think Denise is going to come in like, I'm not failing at this. We still have the, you know, rumor that was never addressed, although we know it's true that she had a threesome with Brandy while she was married to Aaron. I mean, you know, the women are going to bring that up. I mean, EJ's going to her face. Yeah. Why wouldn't they? Come on. I mean, that was like, she did the whole bravo, bravo, bravo.